From one extreme to another, a day out in the countryside to a night on the town. I'll be really sorry to leave this lovely little picturesque village in Lancashire, but I'm just about to head to the bright lights of Blackpool. I've never been before, so I'm really, really excited. I'm going to be exploring the pleasure beach, tasting the candy floss, and of course, sampling the nightlife. Well, I'm in my glad rags and I'm ready to go. So come on, let's hit the town. Staying in is the new going out, or is it? Well, today I'm going to be looking at the essential components that make up that perfect cosy night in. The best food, the right wine, and of course, the most popular movies. And we're going to be finding out whether all of that measures up to that perfect girls' night out. Well, I think I know what I'm going to be choosing. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, all the shops are fully stocked with cards, flowers and chocolates. But does it mean what it used to mean? Does anybody actually send any mystery Valentines these days? Or is it just an excuse to splash out on your other half? And is that a bad thing? Well, I'm here to find out what you think. So you think it's more for people in relationships than, than not then? Um, I guess, yeah, I think if you're in a relationship, it's a nice day to kind of say you love somebody. Because Valentine's used to be more about, you know, giving mystery cards, you don't know who they're from. But I think these days it can be quite depressing for singles to be alone on Valentine's Day. Do, do you remember those days? Definitely, yeah. Have you ever sent yourself a Valentine's card? No, no, never. OK, and what about to your mum? Uh, I haven't, actually. I've received lots from my mum, though. Have you ever received one that you don't know who it's from? Uh, I I, I would love to say yes, but no, I've never have. Not even at school? No, not even at school. So we've just got time for one more message. Now, this here is from Harry. Harry's five years old. So hi, Harry. He's done this beautiful painting for his auntie Elise, whose birthday it is today. Now, what Harry's done is he's done some beautiful colours on one side of the picture, folded it over, pressed it together, and then open it out, and the other side matches. Isn't that great? Good job, Harry. Why don't you try that at home? So a big happy birthday to Elise, and I hope you two have loads of fun celebrating today. But sit tight for now, because we're just about to join the gang as they prepare for an unusual day out. It's the Coco Club. A puppy is for life and not just for Christmas. A well-known saying, but unfortunately, not everybody abides by it. Around 100,000 dogs are found every year abandoned by their owners. That's nearly 2,000 a week. And some of these adorable animals will not live long enough to know a happy home. I'm here today to talk to Maggie Dillon, an animal rights promoter, who's going to talk to us about what we can do to help. I love pop music, can't get enough of it. And with shows like American Idol and The X Factor churning out the stars, there's no shortage of it. But do these manufactured artists really cut the mustard? Well, I'll be showing you some of the latest pop videos and asking you to vote for your favourites. So we'll see what you think. Well, that's all we've got time for today, but join me tomorrow and I'll be taking you through the three steps to a flat stomach. See you then. <laughs>